Hey guys, welcome to Toy Shop. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit differently. Um, we're gonna do the rear brakes on this player's trail boss, but what I want you guys to do first, if you're doing the rear brakes and you're getting started, I want you guys to go check out this video on YouTube. All right, I ended up not being able to really figure out or be confident about how this was actually gonna to be tore apart. So I ended up getting on YouTube, finding this video, and he did a really good explanation of how to do these. The only thing I ran into was mine were in really, really bad shape. So I ended up having to do mine differently. I would definitely watch his video first, try it that way. If you can get it that way, that's best. If not, then stay right here on this video because I'm gonna show you how I ended up getting the brakes rebuilt on a player's trail boss. All right, so I wanna pull this little plastic mud flap out of the way. So I think we're gonna take these two Allen head bolts off. There's two of them right here. We're gonna pop them off to get this foot brake cam assembly off of there. This bottom one here, you could only loosen it up until it hit that arm. Then you had to get the other one loose. So I'm pulling pulling back on this whole assembly while I'm loosening this one up the rest of the way. We're gonna take this bolt off to get this plastic cover free. And then we're gonna try to pull these two bolts off and uh, see if we can get that out of there. All right. Yeah. All right, so this is a really dumb design. There's two pins in here that hold your brake pads in because your brake pads just have holes through it. So these are down in here. There's no way to get behind the pin and push them out. All you can do is see the very end of the pin in here. So right there and there. So we got to get them out. Now, what he had shown was we're going to slide everything back. I'm less worried about being rough on this because we're putting a new, uh, a new piston and brake pads in this. So... All right, so that's back as far as it can go. So we're gonna use needle nose vice grips and we're gonna attempt to come down in here and grab a hold of one of these pins. And if we can get a hold of it decent, this isn't making it spin, but maybe I can get... Uh... We gotta try to get these pins moving. All right, we're gonna spray a little penetrating oil on this. And another thing I'm gonna try to do is try to put a punch on the pins. Gotta try to get these to move a little bit. That one moved. I know for a fact this one moved. Let's see if we can get it to wiggle. Rotate a little bit. All right, no wiggling. We're gonna put a little bit of heat on this. All right, so when none of that works, because this hasn't been torn apart since it was brand new, we are going to have to uh, play hardball, I think. So what I'm gonna do, since this is all soaked and nasty and saturated, I'm gonna just spray this off with carburetor cleaner, get it cleaned up. We are gonna lay a nut over top of each one of these. And then we're gonna take the welder and we're gonna weld from the pin to the nut. And then hopefully we can get on the nut with a wrench and start to get it wiggled loose. Once we get the pins out, then we'll just cut the nuts off, clean the pins up really well, put them back in. Let's get this cleaned up. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of open this up a little bit with a burr bit. I did was basically just chamfer that. Now we're gonna lay a little heat on the end of this pin. I'm gonna slide a nut over it, or in this case a washer. Oh, that got a little spicy. All right, we're gonna let her cool down. Once it's cooled down, we're gonna use both vice grips to try to break up free together so not all the torques on that weld, but hopefully we can get something to happen. All right, now it's kind of cooled off. We're gonna see if we can break it loose. Carefully. If I just move this one, looks like it's moving, so that's good. All right, so now I'm kind of pulling up as I wiggle. All right, so now I'm gonna get a crowbar underneath it to kind of lift. Yeah, what a stupid design. All right, so there's one pin. It is not pretty by any means, but it worked. 
All right, we're gonna get the wire brush out, clean up this other side and do the same thing to that one. All right, now that those are out of the way, I am going to, we're gonna get this piston out of here. Well, we're gonna tap this back plunger back here because that's gonna push that out, get it out pretty good like that. Then probably we're gonna get some vice grip. Work it back and forth, get it out of there. Here we go. Now we're gonna get a pick. So the top O-ring is the smaller one. And the bottom O-ring is the thicker one. All right, now we pretty much have this gutted. If you work the plunger in the back, you can see how that works better. Now we're gonna take this out of here. I'm gonna take it to the parts washer, get it all cleaned up, spray it out with some carburetor cleaner, blow it out really well, and then we're gonna reverse that process. I uh, Parts washed it, blew it out with carburetor cleaner. Then I took just kind of a crooked hooked, hooked pick and kind of just went around in here and scraped all the boogers out of the O-ring grooves in here. And then I re-blew it out with carburetor cleaner and air. Now we're gonna need a little brake fluid. I'm gonna pour a little bit in the cap. Now we're gonna start with the big bottom O-ring. We're gonna get her good and moistened up. Maybe kind of drizzle a little in there. Then we're just gonna work that in. I'm gonna take a 90 degree pick to kind of pull up on the O-ring. Get that worked in there. Kind of massage it so it fits in there pretty evenly then we're just going to do the same thing for the second smaller o-ring all right now we're going to take our new piston remember the toothed end went towards the brake pad so i'm just going to set the whole base of that piston down in the in the oil and i'm just going to kind of massage this down in here i'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on it all right that is in there now now i'm going to push this back in we are going to set our brake pads in there i already have these pins cleaned up I put a little more taper on this end here. I'm gonna stick that end out and the virgin ends back in. I would definitely test fit these, make sure they're they're good. There's actually a whole lot of room in here. Like they're pretty, pretty sloppy. So they were pretty bad. Once this gets bolted back up in there, there's no way they can come out. I just don't think ever been taken out. Stick our brake pads in. Kind of have to push down on the brake pad a little bit to get it to go. All right, there we have it. Got the piston slid all the way in, so I got a gap for the fin the rotor. These pins are below flush. You wanna make sure that that's what it is. Everything's cleaned up. We got new seals in here, new piston. That's freed up. All right, now we can put it back on and get it bled. I got all this put back together, but I wanna talk about it for a second. It was kind of a pain in the rear end to get this caliper back inside there. I ended up having to tap it, get this bolt started without the bracket or washers on it, just to hold it and then tap it so I could get this bolt in here, get it started. Then I backed them out, put this cover on and finished assembling this part of it. Now this part here that we pulled off first with these two Allen head bolts, that controls your, your foot brake. Now, you can get the bolt started without adjusting this end bolt here, but you don't wanna just suck it down tight with the Allen heads before you break this loose and loosen this up. Because those pads are wider now, it's gonna force that piston out farther. So you'll end up breaking it if you don't, if you don't do this. Um, I got both started and then I broke this bolt loose and ran it way back. And then these, these two Allen bolts should tighten up fairly easily until they get snugged up and there's no more gap in here anymore. Then start running this bolt back in until you get good enough pedal that you like. So spin the tire and press the, press the foot brake and make sure you get that where you want it. All right, guys, if you found any of this useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. But until next time, peace.